and I just thought that I would. Let's stop that and let's try again. 45 seconds in. Okay. Another video, another day, another lunchtime. So, in the last couple of videos, we just looked at unboxing all of our Vostran troopers from our Italian package that we got. And then the next video was just looking at masks and how we can model our troops to try and change the look of some of them so they all fit the same rebreather, gas mask kind of meta. Um, what I want to do today is just have a little bit of a sort out because now I have boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff all over the place. The troops that I'm going to keep, I'm just going to go through, work out what we're going to have, uh, put them in little boxes so I can store them safely until I've then made some room getting rid of a few bits and then we can work on the army itself. So the first part of this video is just going to be going through putting all of the stuff we're keeping uh, into boxes, storing it away so I can get rid of other stuff. But I'll talk through a couple of bits, a lot of it will just be sorting shit out, that's fine. So do enjoy. And the first element that we're going to quickly pop away is our command squad. I'm going to keep it fairly standard with a little bit of an option. I've never been a massive fan of the regimental standard, but I can see why it has its uses. Uh, I'm going to keep one. I'm also going to keep a couple of extra options for special weapons. So what we're going to do is we are going to keep ourselves our commander. So the Vostran commander, holding his staff up in the air, we're going to keep one of him. And I am going to keep a Vox officer, a Vox caster, comms trooper, because I like the uh, regimental orders extension, uh, voice of command to 18 inches, which is cool. So the uh, voice of command up to 18 inches is cool. Obviously, any units who will benefit from that will have to have a Vox caster as well. So um, that's a little more difficult because these are not the cheapest models in the world. And even though I've got a few of them, I want to sell at least one complete command squad to get some cash back. Um, like I mentioned, we will be keeping one of our standard, regimental standard. Lovely model, really, really nice model, but a little bit cumbersome. Um, wouldn't really want to be pulling him out of the back of a chimera with that. And the medic, Keep hold of him because he's quite useful for uh, bringing people back to life. And then I thought we'd just have a uh, we'll have a grenade launcher in there just as a standard kind of special weapons. I am also going to throw in one of my snipers because there may be a game or two where we don't want to have the regimental standard. Maybe if we're just doing a smaller combat patrol and actually it would be more helpful to have the option to do some additional shooting. I may even add a heavy weapons team to that as well for the flexibility but for now we're going to leave it at that and we'll see how we feel later with our heavy weapons teams. Pop in some bases so that I know I can I have enough for them so six of those in there and what we're going to do we're just going to pop him, pop him away. I've actually bought a load of these little boxes not only for uh, helping me sort things out here, but also for when I do sell things and sell them on. I've got straight away a nice supply of boxes that I can package up and do small, uh, large letter sizes um, to save on some cash. Right, let's pop this guy away. And then we're just going to write on him. Command squad, and that's um, commander standard. My writing is awful, I'm ever so sorry. Medic box grenade and sniper. Just means that when I come to pull everything out, I'm trying to find things, I know what I've got. Pop them over to one side. I'm just going to update my list here as I'm building the list. So, command squad. 
uh, commander. As I just said, I'm just going to put it all in. So we're going to move on to our first uh, troops choice. I'm going to have at least three, probably four standard squads of troops. And then I think I'm probably going to have a squad of veterans as well, possibly. Um, it depends on how it all looks. Or I might have it so that I have just enough uh, special weapons troopers to be able to bolster a standard squad to make a veteran squad. Um, because I don't, I'm really keen on the idea of having uh, an, an armoured regiment. I'm having these guys uh, with a lot of transports to help get them across the field, to give them some support, to give them, and and then have a pretty large target that will be a distraction because the transports are useful uh, and can soak up some bullets. That the pretty wussy troopers uh, that they are it, it will take away from take away from them just getting shot straight away so I'm going to probably build up four squads and then have the extra troopers for a veteran squad if I want it and then this means that when I'm playing with my scions or with any of the other uh, options that we have like the ball grins um, it gives me a whole load of flexibility it's not just the same troops with las guns shooting and failing to kill anything. So this is a really standard um, standard troop layout uh, that we've got here. What this is is just uh, a sergeant with a last pistol Special Weapons Flamer, the six troopers um, in their monoposes, and a heavy bolter team, um, including the little heavy bolter mount with the shells around it. So we're going to have a couple of squads made up like this with a different sergeant, um, with the heavy bolter team, with the flamer. One of the troop squads I am going to give a plasma rifle to, and the officer's going to have a plasma pistol. The plasma on the standard troops, because their ballistic skill is uh, four plus, it's actually quite a cheap option. Uh, the plasma rifle becomes more expensive when you start giving it to veterans or scions uh, because of their better ballistic skill. So I'm just going to throw one in with one of the infantry squads, just for shits and giggles, really, um, because it is a cheap option and it'd be kind of fun, it might do some damage, which is a good thing. But this is our first squad anyway, so we'll start putting together these guys. I won't chat about the squads um, until after I've put the rest of them together. But uh, yeah, thanks. So we've just put our four squads, our four troops options in. Um, there's a little bit of a mix, obviously we've got the four different sergeants. Uh, so each pose for the sergeants, which is cool, um, which is really nice. We've got models with uh, 
just a standard uh, sergeant that you got when you ordered your troops um, originally, which was just the guy with the las las pistol, chainsword and bolt pistol, power fist, and then your plasma pistol and power sword. So it gives us a nice bit of variation uh, for the squads. So they've all got their uh, individual monopose troopers. Two of the squads I'm actually giving vox casters uh, so that they can take advantage of the uh, voice of command uh, with the command uh, commander and his voxcaster. That just means that when I'm deploying I'll make sure that those squads are closer to my command squad. When you've got this many troops choices actually having them close enough you won't have them uh, that close during the battle so I'm not going to give a voxcaster to every squad. Um, I've actually got a couple, I was quite I just remembered in the lot there were a couple of Voxcaster bodies without the backpacks on, so I'll pick up a couple of uh Voxcaster backpacks to go with these guys and then that'll complete the look for them. So these uh four troop squads are all together and I'm gonna have a look at what models I've got left to put together a hopefully a veterans squad as well. So what I've done uh, is I've put together a that's our break 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 So what I have done is I've put together a listing uh, for a small army, a small Vosperon army with what I've got left uh, so I'm going to shift uh, a command squad, a couple of squads of uh, troops. I've put together a couple of veteran squads uh, with all three of the special weapons options and I've put together a heavy mortar team. That's all stuff that I'm selling and getting rid of. I'm just doing that as one nice big lot so someone out there can have a really nice usable straight out of the box foster an army to paint up do themselves which I think they will get more joy from me. So me I've got my four squads and my command squad and I'm just gonna have a look at the models that I've got left to put together some more usable options. So I'll just lay everything out, see what I can do.
Okay, so the uh, the misc items I've gone through, uh, and I've found that I've got enough for a veteran squad with uh, all of the special weapons going on that are there as well. So we've got um, a Voxcaster, Sergeant with a Plasma Pistol, uh, Grenade Launcher, Flamer, and a Plasma Rifle. I've got a Heavy Weapons squad here of all Las Cannons, because I really like the Las Cannon. So that's a full Heavy Weapons squad there as well. And then I've got a sort of misc, uh, miscellaneous... Uh, selection of things here that I'm going to keep. Um, just a few, a few leftover troopers. Um, one of each of the sergeants. Uh, a sniper, or two snipers. One of each variety of sniper. Um, and I've got another plasma trooper that I'm going to keep because they are the most valuable of all the troops. So they're really useful things to have. So I'm going to keep one of those. That means that I can actually build a, a special weapons squad, for example, to sit in a chimera with the heavy weapons squad. Um, just as a bit of support for them if needs be, because I've got the, the two snipers and the plasma that could go with the three troopers, make a little special weapon squad as well. So that just gives me a little bit of extra flexibility uh, to, to build lists for whatever may come. So those are all of the Vostroin units that I am going to be keeping. And then everything I've got left, which is uh, most of a command squad minus a Voxcaster, um, I've got some officers, um, a couple of snipers, and half a heavy bolter team, and a load of casualties. Um, that's a good point. Let's keep some casualties, because everyone loves a diorama. We'll keep a few casualties, just for, just for a bit of scenic work. And then everything else, I'll get to sell. And then what I'll do is I'll put these bits away, package up everything that's going to be to sell. And then I'll start looking at the other items that I do have that I want to carry across from my old list into this new one. Hi guys, just a real quick end to this video. I thought that we'd go through and just talk about the other units that are going to support the Vosterians. So thanks for bearing with me for the first part of that video. Just quickly going to pop this together, show you what else is going to come to the table. So some of these units are transferred over from the Cadians that I used to run and some of them I've got recently to replace other units. Um, that were either painted up as Cadians or had very much that theme going on. So just going to pan through all these with the other camera and uh, show you everything that we've got. So running from the back, so right up here over at the back we've just got a few transports that we use. So these are Chimera transports at the back here. A couple of them are converted to have the turrets at the back uh, and then one of them is a standard one which is going to be my command unit. Um, just in front of those guys, we've got three uh, Bulgrins with grenade gauntlets, and we've got a Preacher with them, so a, a Minotaur and Priest. Uh, they are running in a Torox, just a standard Torox, kind of fitted how they would work. Uh, swinging across over this side here, we've got a Valkyrie, which is pretty fluffy uh, for our Tempestus signs. I just love the... the thought of them riding in on a dropship like that. And just in front of them we've got their command squad. So their command squad there riding in a Torox Prime with the missile launchers. Now down the front here looking at a couple of little fast attack options we have got a squad of armoured sentinels. Now armoured sentinels fit the uh, theme of these guys much better than scout sentinels. Scout sentinels have their open tops and everything whereas these guys are all because of the whole hostile environment they're all enclosed. And then just next to them is a Hellhound variant, um, which is uh, running a Melter Cannon, uh, so that's just a nice one to get in amongst the enemy really quickly and cause some damage. And then just moving on to our heavy options over here, we have got a Lingaros Battle Tank Squadron, a couple of Punisher variants, and um, an Executioner with the Plasma as well. And they're mainly running, the Punishers are running Heavy Bolters and a Las Cannon, and the uh, Executioner is running Plasma Sponsons in the last cannon. I do have all the other variants as well if we want to use those too. And then sitting here, right in the middle, this is my favourite piece, which I have got especially for this uh, Vosteran force. Now, this is a Forge World Valdor Tank Hunter. The whole thing about the Vosterans is that they pass their weapons down through generations, they look after them, that's why they have this extra 6 inch range rule, but this unit here really kind of fits the 
fits the theme of having the ancient weaponry going on. So this thing is old, it's cumbersome, it's big, it is a very attractive uh, unit as well. It looks mean, costs a lot of points, and it's not the best, most competitive unit out there, but as far as, far as the fluff goes, you've got to have something like this if you're running an army like the Bosporans. We don't collect guard because they're competitive. We collect Astra Militarum because we love uh, the humanity we empathise with them, which is a really cool thing. And um, and yeah, this sort of sums up the whole Phosphoran theme and running with these slightly old-fashioned troops. Anyway, that's the other elements of the army. So what we're going to do is we're going to start painting these all up in the new colours over the next few weeks. We've already started painting up the troops so far, the Phosphoran troops. The next video is actually going to be a really sad one about uh, boxing our army up and casing everything into uh, KR multi-cases, which I think is going to be a really nice video to watch. So tune in next time, like, share and subscribe please, and uh, we'll see you again.